What's happening everyone? Freedom of Finesse here from Realistic Songwriting. Howdy. Today we're going to talk about a little plugin called Nectar 3 Elements, which the folks from uh, Isotope have sent over to me to review and give you guys a little demonstration of, and I'm happy to oblige since I really like Isotope, I have a bunch of their plugins, and I really like it. Babe, Jesus. All right, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. So what does this plugin do? Well, essentially you can feed a vocal track into it and it's gonna turn out something that sounds a lot better. And this is especially cool if you just have a home recording kind of situation, but you essentially tell it what kind of vibe you want it to have and what kind of intensity. So intensity just in determines how much of that top vibe you're gonna get. Vintage is gonna be that a little bit of a warmer, fuzzier sound, modern. It's gonna be a, a lot more high, it's a lot, like kind of a sparkly sound, and dialogue is just gonna be a sort of evened out sound. So um, I'm just gonna go for, let's say modern in this case, or let's vi actually, let's go for a vintage and let's go for a moderate intensity. Uh, then it's gonna tell me to uh, play some audio. Now I've written this track here for you folks um, just in a couple of hours today and asked Joanna to put a couple of vocals to it and she did in like 10 minutes or so, so don't be too harsh, but here's what that sounds like. Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from my worst sides and you stick to my right. I'd let it all slide, all slide. Rather let it all slide, all slide. Hey, I love you long time, long time. All right, so it's worked its magic, and here's the six effects that come within Nectar Elements. First of all, we have a little bit of pitch correction. So this is essentially auto-tune. Um, and let's actually, I just wanna show you what that sounds like. Uh, so this is it at 0%. Hey, I love you long time. And here's it long at 100%. Time. You know me from my worst sides and you stick to my right. I'd rather let it all slide. All okay, so let's put it at about one or so, so we have a little bit of pitch correction, um, but not too much. All slide, rather let it all slide, all slide. Next is clarity, and clarity essentially looks at the frequency spectrum of the signal, and it's gonna take out some resonances that we might have. So if I pull this up a little bit, the sound should be a little bit clearer because it's gonna take out some of the, the lows of the signal. So listen to this. I'd rather let it all slide, all slide. Compared to? Rather let it all slide, all slide. See, so like increasing that a little bit. I'd, they I love you long time. Might do some wonders here. Then we have a de-esser. De-esser, if you don't know what that is, is a plugin that takes out or reduces the sharpness of the S's, T's, and other sibilants. So I think over here we have a section that has a couple of S's right here. On my worst sides and you stick to my right. So that sounds pretty good, but if we take down the de-esser. On my worst sides and you stick to my right. It's definitely a lot sharper. So adding this in a little bit. On my worst sides and you stick to my right. On my worst sides and you stick to my right. On my worst sides and you stick. Right, it's it sounds like a the blend sounds just a little bit better. And then we have dynamics, so essentially just a compressor, and you can tell it how much you want to compress the signal. So if we go all the way up, a lot of compression. On my worst sides and you stick to my right. On my all the way down. No compression. On my worst sides and you stick to my right. And I can actually show you this. So let's just print this effect here, this uh, this track here real quick without compression and then with compression. So this is it without compression. Uh, sorry, this is with compression clearly and this is without compression. So you can see all these peaks here that have been reduced here. Um, here's another good uh, point where you can see the difference uh, at this here you can clearly see that this here is almost twice as loud as this, whereas here, the difference is really a lot more um, more subtle. Then we get the polish functions over here, and that is tone and space. So tone is what we selected previously. In this case, I think we went, went for the vintage sound, is that right? Uh, so that means it's gonna bring up the warmness, the fuzziness of the signal, the more we increase this. So if we pull it all the way down, Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from. This is, I think, this is pretty much the original signal, if I'm not mistaken. If we increase this, you can hear the sound get fuzzier and warmer. Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from my worst sides, and you stick to my right. Hey, I love you long time. And then we have space, so that's just a reverb, all right? 
Baby, I love you long Play time, in this case. long time. You know me from my worst sides, and you stick to my right. So if you're someone who just wants to record some vocals without worrying too much about setting the different parameters, this plugin here is going to set a lot of the parameters for you so that you end up with just one slider instead of 50 per plugin. It's not 50, but like three, you know. And so this makes the process a lot easier and a lot quicker. So also, I don't know, maybe you don't have that much time to record your tracks. Sometimes having a plugin like this um, to just do some quick um, modifications to your vocal track might be a cool thing to have. Something I would uh, also uh, compare this to would be uh, the Chris Lord Algae vocals thing. Um, this one right here, which does something kind of similar. You just have one fader, but here you can also select, you have a little bit more uh, freedom to select some other uh, things that these faders do. So in this case here, for example, we can add some highs, some treble, um, but we can tell it where we want that those highs to be. So do we want the bite? Do we want the top? Or do we want the roof, right? So those that's just kind of different um, frequency spectra here. Or um, we have different options for the compressor. So we can go wall heavy compression, like very high ratio, uh, or, you know, something a little bit less so uh, than we have here subs, so very low frequencies, a little bit higher frequencies, and then upper mid, uh, upper bass, etc. Um, here we have different reverbs. And actually, let me just show you what this one sounds like in comparison to Nectar 3 Elements. Here we go. Um, let me just set this to something that would make sense here. Actually, let's maybe um, bring in a little bit of lows here. Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from my worst sides and you stick to my right. Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from my worst sides and you stick to my right. Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from my worst sides and you stick to my right. Hey, I love you long time, long time. You know me from my worst sides. So, you know, it just depends on what you want, really. Um, I personally really like the CLA plugin um, for vocals, but Nectar also has its benefits. I mean, it's just it's just cool that you really just have one fader to, to work with, whereas here you have a little bit more selections. Sometimes it's nice to have less to worry about and to have the plugin worry about those things for you. So there you go. That was my little review of Nectar 3 Elements. Take care and stay gefährlich.